Welcome back and thank you for clicking on today's video. The upkeep of my property is no walk in the park. It's sacrifices. I call sweat equity. I don't mind sweating for a return value on my home by investing in the labor of love. Sweat equity can provide great value to your home. It doesn't take a lot. It's just maintaining the basics, mowing your lawn, trimming shrubs and hedges, adding some greenery and a few flowers. Guess what? I am rolling solo. Mark injured himself at work, so he's not able to help me. However, my chores got to get done around the home. I took a vow and I married for better, for worse, sickness and in health. So I am gonna go ahead and tackle this work. I'm gonna see how much I can get done and I'm gonna take you along. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Can you see the lines in the lawn? Oh my gosh, I love putting lines in the grass. It's just like my vacuum cleaner when I'm putting lines in the carpet. I love giving the grass those lines. It's, it just gives it a nice finished touch. Do you like doing that? Drop me a comment below. I was taking a look at my flower bed right here and I noticed it's very bare. I noticed also that I need to add some greenery on that side. The plant that you're looking at right there, that's a crepe myrtle. I actually killed that one myself. My husband brought it home from a coworker and that crepe myrtle was just growing like a wild flower and it was just growing everywhere. So. I'm, I, when he feels better, he's going to remove it out. So now, as you can see, I only have, I think, two in the bed, this one and another one on the end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use these Liriopes. I'm gonna go ahead and I probably break this one in half. And as you can see, there's another one all the way at the end and it's very small and I've noticed that the deer and I believe the rabbits are eating the uh, Liriope. So I'm going to go into my other flower bed across over here where I have a whole lot more of them and they're pretty big. So I'm just going to go ahead and break them in half and transport them over to the other bed. That's another way to save on plants if you have a plant that you can break in half or you can break it into maybe threes that's a way to save as well so i'm just gonna break them up and take them over there i want to take this time to give you a good overview of my property on the front yard so that you can see the different flower beds i have I call my landscaping evergreens, evergreens with ground covers and different shades of green. It's perfectly fine just to have greenery. I also have um, all around my flower beds, stamp concrete edging, and it just gives it a nice curb appeal. So 
Oh, you see that? It's real pretty. Beautiful landscaping, beautiful curb appeal. This right here is my um, magnolia tree. And when it blooms, it's beautiful. So I already see some of the buds on it right there. Look at that, oh my gosh. It blooms some beautiful white flowers. And hopefully it will be blooming another month or so. As soon as it does, I definitely will share it with you guys. So now I'm gonna come over to this property, um, not this property, I'm gonna come over to this bed so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, we used to have a lot of um, beautiful flowers and evergreens. So I do see where I'm gonna have to come in here and pull some weeds out. I know you can see it. So I'll definitely get those out, get it cleaned up. And we'll probably add some mulch, not on this video, but everything else looks good. Uh, remember, uh, we cut the, uh, and trimmed the hedges. Um, I think about in January, it was a warm day and we trimmed our hedges and they still look pretty good. So I don't need to trim. Everything looks good. And I have edging there as well. That trim looks good. So. And this is where we are. So let me get started. I remember when we first purchased this home, I had all types of different um, perennials um, in my yard, all different types of flowers, evergreens, ground covers, you name it, I had those beautiful, vibrant colors. But now I decided we're just gonna do greenery, um, evergreen greenery, whether it's a light green, a dark green, ground covers, something that is low maintenance that doesn't require a lot of, um, you know, TLC. So this is what I'm doing. And I, I see nothing wrong with having a evergreen flower bed. It's going to work out just fine because I do not want to be out in the yard um, painstakingly working in a flower bed on a regular basis. I just don't have that adrenaline. I don't have it, but I think that will be just enough for me to be able to keep myself moving, bending what I'm doing like right now. This is perfect. But all that other stuff that I was doing before, uh-uh. I used to be out in my flower beds all the time, all the time. I'm not gonna do it anymore but this is definitely some ideas if you are looking to spruce up your um, front yard you don't need a lot 
just a few things. I hope these ideas and suggestions are helpful. I want to take this time to introduce myself. I'm Shauna LaKell and welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you're enjoying today's video. And if you are, don't forget uh, to give it a big thumbs up if you're enjoying this type of video. Um, I want to extend a welcome if you are stopping by for the first time. Thank you so much for stopping by and clicking on today's video. I do cleaning, home decor, home decorating. As you can see, yard work, that's what I do. If you like that type of content, I invite you to click on that subscribe button, become a part of my YouTube family. And to all our loyal um, family members, thank you so much for coming back for another week's video. Split them in half. I put one that's gonna go right there. So you can see what I'm talking about. They're split. So I'm just putting them in place where I think they should go. I broke one off of that. And there's another one right there I'm gonna put there. I'm gonna put that one there, that one there, and that one there. And this one is already there. So let me go ahead and start digging some holes and get these in the ground. weed blocker here so uh, trying to figure out where is this place for this all right so this is the weed blocker right here and i'm gonna have to cut through here and put it in there i think that's enough space right here just moving the mulch out the way. I think this will go perfect right there. So let me go ahead, dig a little hole here. Held up pretty good. I'm gonna just dig this little hole here. Let's get it in there. This is why I want to get rid of that crepe myrtle. The roots just grow everywhere.
crazy 이제 떠나게 꿈에 나타나지 마고 나도 그렇게 해줄게 Picking up the pieces 그리워진 않아 이제 네가 행복하게 뭔 바람에 baby turn it I've been just picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up pieces of you Think about how can I, how can I, how can I, how can I, how can I keep the dream I've been just picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up pieces of you Think about how can I, how can I, how can I, how can I, how can I keep the dream I think I know the vibe back in time, I don't wait it on Puzzle pieces lost, baby, I don't even wait it on Mark was really in bad shape. He hired a young man to come and do the work that he know he can do. So you know he was in bad shape. He was in a lot of pain that he hired someone to come and do the work. But I am glad that we were able to um, meet this young man. Um, he did an awesome job. We hired him to clean our gutters. They were really filthy and dirty as well as the stucco, all the stucco around the house, um, around the windows, uh, above the, the front porch, that A-frame, as well as there's some stucco around the back of the house. And he just did an awesome job. So I, I, he's 20 years old, and I'm so proud of this young man. He started his own business and he is just doing his thing. So I did put him on the spot and I was asking him all kind of questions. And you're going to um, hear him give his little spill. I said, sell yourself in 30 seconds. And, oh my gosh, he just sold himself to me in 30 seconds. Even went above and beyond he said do you have any loopers and I said I do he said I'm gonna go ahead and cut down these palm leaves that was so nice of him to cut down the palm leaves for me hello my name is Frank Jimenez and I'm starting my own business uh, pressure prime pressure washing LLC we do soft washing houses gutters roofs, driveways, um, and yeah, let me know if you need uh, any jobs done and we do free estimates. Frank did an awesome job and I will leave his information in my description box. We're gonna now move on to my front porch. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice sweep. You know I cannot decorate on dirt, so I have to go ahead and get this all cleaned up. And then I'm going to go ahead and power wash it. Just a friendly reminder, next Sunday I will be doing my deck refresh makeover 
So you don't want to miss that video. Make sure you join me next week for that video as well. Since I had the power washer out, I just thought I will go ahead and do the lead sidewalk that goes up to the porch. And I must say this um, rotating surface cleaner, it works great. I tip my hat off to anyone that has this type of business. This is not easy work. It's hard trying to keep that thing because you have to go slow with it and you have to go in certain movements of strokes with it. So. Kudos to uh, anyone that has a power washing business. It is not easy to do this. It looks easy, but it's time consuming. You have to go real slow and go in certain circular motion, go from left to right, back and forth like that to get that um, concrete clean. Okay, all the hard work is done and it is time to decorate and give you some small front porch decorating ideas. And I think you're gonna really like it. It really turns out beautiful. So let's get started, okay? The first item that I'm going to put up is gonna be this welcome sign. I purchased this at Dollar General for $10. It was brown and I went on and you know how I do it. Uh, paint is my best friend. So I went on and painted all of the brown edges here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang it on the wall back here behind me. Now that we have our welcome sign in place, I'm gonna go ahead and hang some butterflies. I wanna bring nature to this wall. And I purchased these at Hobby Lobby, I wanna say maybe about four years ago. And I seen them in Hobby Lobby this year as well. So if you're interested, these are so cute. They're metal and they are butterflies. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hang one here and I'm gonna hang one on that side right there. So let's get started. Now, how simple was that? That looks nice going at a corner like that. And then I'm gonna take the other one and bring it in this way as well. So let me go ahead and get that done. Okay, so I'm over here and I'm gonna go ahead and put this screw right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hang the butterfly. I hope this one work. Might be, there we go, it's going in. Slowly but surely, it's going in. There we go. Now that looks really nice. So now I have my welcome sign and I have brought nature onto this wall and I have a butterfly on the right and I have a butterfly on the left. So let me step back and give you a view of that. Last year I shared where I used some old branches that we cut off our tree, they were dead. And what I like to do is I like to spray paint them. So I spray paint them black and it's gonna be a drop back for my flower pot. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Thank you. 
Okay, it's really starting to come together. I have the welcome sign, the two butterflies on each side, and look how beautiful this branch. I spray paint it, and it's just going to act as a drop back for this arrangement. Now I'm gonna add something to it, some beautiful yellow for Cynthia flowers. Oh my gosh, you guys gonna love it. Watch this. Okay, the, I have the butterflies. Remember I used these butterflies on my butterfly and bumblebee tear tray? Well, I have them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that nature to the flower pot. And I also have these beautiful long stem for Cynthia's. So what I'm gonna do is put them in the pot. And one of the tips that I'm doing, because I wanna use these again and I don't want them to get messed up because it is soil inside that pot. I went on and I put aluminum foil on the tips of them to protect them from the moist and the dirt, okay? What I'm doing is I'm just trying to stick them in here pretty good, they're going down. And I think I can go down a little further. There we go. And what I want to do is kind of spread the porcinthia leaves out. I want it to be cascade. That is coming together very nicely. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Oh, that is coming together nicely. All right, so next I'm gonna add the butterflies to it. And I'm gonna nestle them right in the middle. And don't worry about the aluminum foil. I thought about that too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some green moss and I am going to fill it in around the bottom and it will cover this, uh, the stems that has the aluminum foil on it. That is really coming together nicely. I like that. Kind of turn this just a little. So this is the moss that I'm using. I purchased this um, from Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it around the bottom and let's see how that turns out.
We are at the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. I hope you got some motivation, some inspiration and ideas on how to take care of your front yard and keep it maintained as well as decorating your small front porch. Uh, thank you and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.